Hi again folks, here we are again. Uh, so this is a Hornby R2359 Black 5 that was sent to me by a chap called James. Um, he said he bought this from Hattons and it's uh, stopped working. And uh, he's, he's asked if I would take a look at it to see what's up, which I agreed as uh, the only Black 5s I've worked on are ones from the 1970s. So this is a bit more recent than that, but uh, it's not a new model by any means. Uh, let's turn on the power, see what happens. Not very much. No, nothing at all. So, non-runner, we'll get to the bench and we'll have some fun with it. Okie dokie, let's get a look at this. Uh, just check I've got the camera on record. Uh, I tried to make a video yesterday and uh, after about half an hour I realised uh, I wasn't recording. So that was that video down the spout. Um, Right, let's have a look at this. Yeah, Black 5 in reasonable condition. Uh, this is a made in China one. So it's going to have the uh, the silly pickup system. Oh dear. Yeah, we've got pickups not touching wheels. We've got quite a bit of oil in there as well. Um, the wire here is poking. This is supposed to be routed down to the uh, the drawbar, but it's it's actually rubbing against one of the wheels. So is that one. So somebody's been in here. A bit of jiggery faffery going on. Also the, the body's loose. So um let's get a look. The screw is hardly in. And it comes. Used to be DCC ready, and it looks like a blanking plate. Uh, yeah, these wires need rerouted. But why is it not running? So, first things first, let's see what kind of continuity we've got. Nothing between those wheels. Nothing between those wheels. So, if the wheels aren't connecting to each other, there's not much hope of them connecting to the motor. No. Nothing at all. So I'm kind of suspecting it's the, the pickup system. Somebody's had this out and it's uh, all gone a bit horribly wrong when they were putting it back together, which is kind of understandable because the, the pickups in these models are just awful. Right. Uh, right. This one's actually slightly different than other ones I've looked at in that there's a little peg on the chassis that goes through a little hole and makes contact with the pickups. Um, so it's entirely possible that that's just not making contact. But I don't like how these pickups are sitting. They look a bit too far forward to me. Let's see if we can get these screws out. Here. There we go, that's what I wanted. All right, get that out. That one. I never thought to check continuity from the uh, pickup on the drawbar. Yeah, that connects. And then this one. Right, so that does connect. Let's see if this motor spins with a battery on the drawbar. Yeah, it does. So the motor is working. Um, as I suspected, there's just no connection between the pickups and the motor. So it's going to be a case of cleaning these up and just uh, assembling it properly. I think I'm going to go and get a spot of lunch first though. I think uh, give this a wee bit of a going over with a banky brush. Just a bit of fluffage in there. And then I'll give it a good scoosh out with a contact cleaner. Just 
get rid of the excess oil. We need to let that evaporate off. Then we can give the pickups a clean. This keeper plate's probably all oily as well. Pickups are actually in okay condition. This one's got itself a wee bit bent. We'll get a look at the gears and do that. That'll come off. Yeah, it's all a bit dried up and gunky. Let's give it a good scoosh out. Get rid of all the old dried up grease. Right, all the contact cleaner has evaporated so I can get some fresh lubrication to there and to there and we'll get some silicon grease onto the gears. Right, get this back on. We'll get some fresh oil into the wheel bearings. Get these things back in position. These things are a right fiddle, they really are. Between the pickups and just trying to get the, the wheel bearings into their little recesses. It's an absolute nightmare working on these. That one in, and that one. That one's okay. And then this one. There we go. <laughs> right, stay put. Till I get this down. that. Deary me. Uh, oh, why does that come out? Uh, I've got a horrible feeling that a little bit of tape matters. Because I think that'll insulate the live wire from the chassis. I wonder if I can pull some of this wire through. Get a bit more wriggle room. There we go. That's better. Right. Yeah, I could have given this a bit of a clean up as well, actually. Kind of overlooked that. So, don't want the end of this wire uh, touching the chassis. That'll cause a short circuit. Um, <laughs> it's just such a rubbish design, it really is. Uh, right. Leave bit insulating tape required. Why is it you can never find a pair of scissors when you want them? Or a knife. Where's my scalpel? Oh, the scalpel's in the layout room. Back in a sec. Left my scalpel in the layout room because I'm building my Metcalf viaduct. Um, oh, there's that wire away. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right. See, I just don't like that at all. I don't like the idea of putting a a little bit of tape because it's going to be right next to the gears and right next to this axle. I think what I would rather do is put that wire through there and then solder it into there and that would ensure that that wire is not going to come into contact with the chassis. I think that's what we'll do. I've got myself a new soldering iron um, which is much, much better. 
heats up really quickly. It's got an on off switch, digital display, um, and I also invested in a really good quality tip um, because the you know the cheap tips you get with soldering irons and these multi packs that you can buy, they they just oxidize very very quickly. So I think it pays to get a good quality tip for your soldering iron. Heats up super quick. Let's see if I can just get a wee blob in here. Keep my hand steady enough. There. Think that'll be better. Let's fiddle about with these bearings again. Now we have to fit these pickups. Hey, which way do they go? I think they go that way. And those ones will go this way. So that should now make better contact with that wire. And that there is supposed to make contact with that. <laughs> I'm going to put some solder on there, like that, and I'm just going to put some solder on there and melt some of the plastic as well. That should make a better contact. Right, try this now. There we go. Right with the tender. Squeaky tender wheels. Okay, we'll give these wheels a bit of a clean and we'll uh, clean these wheels as well, I think. And that should be us. Making sure I clean the inside of the, the wheels as well, where the pickups make contact. Right, okay, dokie then. Um, let's get the body on. And that is that. Right, just trying to get these wires out the road of the rear wheels. Still letting this stick. Clip into the clips at the back. Right, okay, I think we're there. Mm, getting a wee clicky noise. Oh, I can't believe I didn't spot that. Um, one of these rods is horrendously bent. There we go. I think this rear axle is meant to be sprung. I don't think it is. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we'll have to take this apart yet again. Um, and get a spring in there. Or see if there is one already there. It's maybe been compressed. Get all that out again. Right. Yeah, there's supposed to be a spring in there, and there isn't one. Why didn't I notice that before? Um, what these will probably do... Put that in there. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. Right, okay, we'll put it around the loop and see how it does. Okay then, out she comes.
So there we are, that's this Black 5 running again. Uh, yeah, the model had undergone a, a bit of jiggery faffery, but uh, as I kind of suspected, the main issue there was uh, the pickups. Um, it's just a daft design that's always going to fail. Um, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of these made in China models with this uh, particular configuration, and they've all had the same issue. It's, uh, you know, it's not necessarily uh, poor quality as such, it's just bad design uh, and a right fiddle to sort out. Um, other than that, this really just needed a clean up and a service uh, and, and a new spring on that rear, rear axle. A um, couple of the rods were bent, wires were all over the place. But uh, yeah, too too many wee bendy bits and fiddly piddly nonsense on these models. Um, but they can be got pretty cheap and uh, they've all run quite nicely once they're sorted out. Uh, anyway, I'll get this packed up and sent back to James. Uh, he's uh, sent me a couple of donations to sort out. I think I'll uh, put them up for charity auction. Uh, so I'll get around to them soon, but uh, I really need to crack on with the new layout. Okay, folks, catch us later.